Hi, it's Gary Kay. We're here at Infocom 2018, in the middle of the first day. Uh, Jeff Hastings, CEO of BrightSign. First off, how are you doing, Jeff? I'm doing great, Gary. You still have your voice. I had, I to, I had to I had to. make this appointment on the first day because otherwise I can't understand what he's saying. I know, and on the third day, I'm always, my voice is always done. But, Mine too. Yeah, we're having a great show, and it's been super busy. It's a, you know, a little break right now during lunchtime, but things are going really well. Yeah, brightsign.biz. What are you launching here at the show? You got some neat new stuff. We're launching our new Series 4 player. So we actually showed them off as a little preview at ISE uh, back in Amsterdam. And we actually start shipping them on the 25th of this month. So super excited. Got them all on, on the, running all the displays here in the booth. And super exciting about them. They're you know much higher performance than the Series 3 XD and XD players. Um, and they also support Dolby Vision, which you, when you stop and look at it, we're showing it on an LG OLED display. And the colors just pop off the screen. Yeah, and um, so so why, if, if, if it's a digital science player, why do you need Dolby Vision, right? Talk about that. Well, you know, a lot of people think digital signage, oh, it's just you don't need the, the high-end kind of video. But what happens is when you see the high-end video, you realize, like, oh, my God, it's way more attractive. It grabs people's attention. And that's why you have a display on the wall in the first place. Right, and so, and, and I that means it also, and you've, you've also supported HDR for a long time already. Yes, exactly. So it's going to be HDR10 compliant as well. Exactly. Um, and, and, and so what I think the difference is now you actually have the displays that can actually show it off. If, even if you'd have had this a year ago, you didn't have the content players for it. Yeah, the, the, the displays are now coming along at a much greater rate, and that's why we're actually showing the LG display. I mean, their LG OLED makes it just spectacular. And Dolby Vision is just a step up from the HDR10, so it's, yeah. it's the next step up and it really pops, which just gives you the ability to have super fast transitions in terms of the color space. And we're going to actually shoot a video on each of these individual product stations so that you can see all the different things that BrightSign is showing here at the show. So it's kind of like you're actually here at the show. Of course, you can go to brightsign.biz and, uh, and, 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 uh, and see everything. Um, I want to change uh, my, uh, my tone a little bit here and ask you about, so the, the digital science market has, for the AV segment of if we, if we attach it to the AV market, yep. has been the fastest growing segment of the market for about four or five years running. Um, why is that? Well, if you look at it, I mean, basically, it's the analog to digital transition is really what it is. I mean, and people are, are realizing that if you just put a poster on the wall, people ignore it. It's, it's literally wallpaper. So by putting video in and the displays coming down in cost, I mean, that was, the displays used to be super expensive. So you wanted something nice, super expensive. That cost has come down. The players, our players are very low cost compared to kind of everything here at, at Infocom. So it's very cost effective and people are finding that it's, you can actually effectively communicate with it. You can get the word out. And with the new world of, you know, people want to be control of their own world. They don't want to have, you know, to have to go around to things. They, they like to see things promoted to them. So. Yeah, and, and, and um, one of the things that's unique is that you provide all of the pieces in the signal chain in a way because you're providing the creative content, the CMS, the player and everything, and you're partnering, because you're partnering with so many companies out there, you're also able to provide almost the entire chain. Yeah, so you know we have our own tools for doing content and delivery, but you know the core of it's these super reliable players, right? You got to put these behind the displays and make sure that you can consistently know that every morning those things are going to be up and running. And you do that with PCs, and you do not get the results. So that's what we're really driving the market for. And then we have all the other tools that pull it together to make it easy. And if you don't like our tools, we have a whole partner ecosystem that brings some of the best state-of-the-art tools to the signage market. And I think that's one of the things that makes people nervous about getting in the industry is not having the, the creative content production capabilities, but the fact that you're sort of an open source and that you're working with all the creative content op options out there makes it nice. Exactly. Basically, any content that someone creates is going to play on our players. Yeah, and, and one last question, because you touched on it. Um, if, if, if you had to give an elevator pitch, uh, you're on the sixth floor down to the first floor, and somebody says, why should I use a bright time player rather than a, a Windows-based player? Oh, the number one reason is it's not going to fail. Basically, we have failure rates of less than 0.1%. Windows computers fail? Well, well, maybe they maybe don't call them failing, but they, they're displaying stuff that you don't want to display. Let's right, put it so you way. have to reboot them. You have to reboot yeah. them. You got the blue screen. You, it, you, know, you got a lot of people hacking them. I mean, our device is super secure, very reliable. They're built to be... They're, they're built to be abused, is really, is, yeah, is the deal. We've been talking about signage players, but you also have uh, digital sign uh, yeah, we, um, compatibility. 
and you you launched an uh, an input module that you're that, I don't want to say licensing or selling. Yeah, or we sell. It's home. basically a, it's a media player that's meant to be integrated into screens. So these small screens that basically have our media player integrated into it. And it, when you have very small form factors, you you can't put up you know this player. Yeah. It's kind of hard to mount that to the back of the player, I mean the back of the screen. So that's where we built a little module that plugs into their electronics, takes advantage of their electronics and makes it a small form factor possible to have our technology built in. So you get all the reliability, you don't have to worry about an Android desktop coming up on this or a yeah. Windows desktop. It's all embedded, it plays what you want to, what we're showing is, you know, room booking systems back here, but you can deploy any application you want. Yep. And, uh, you can see it all at brightsign.biz. Of course, you can type in brightsign the video search window at ravepubs.com slash infocom2018 because we're here at the Infocom 2018 show. Uh, Jeff Hastings, thank you very much for doing this. Thank Congratulations you, on the Series 4. Yep, I, we know excited. it's going to be successful, so we don't have to wish you luck. But uh, thanks for watching. Okay, thank you.